This video will provide a brief overview of the seven education resources available regarding the Australian Mental Health Care classification and the mental health phase of care. The Australian Mental Health Care classification, also referred to as the AMHCC, is a clinically relevant classification that explains resource consumption at the consumer level. The AMHCC incorporates the following variables, setting, mental health phase of care, age group, health of the nation outcome scales, referred to as HONOS, mental health legal status, and the life skills profile. The mental health phase of care is a key concept in the AMHCC and describes the primary goal of care for a consumer at a specific point in time. It is recorded prospectively and describes the type and intensity of care expected for a consumer. Mental health phase of care can therefore be considered as a subset of an episode of care, with multiple phases potentially making up an episode. The AMHCC was released by the Independent Health and Aged Care Pricing Authority in 2016. Since then, there have been numerous projects looking at making refinements to the mental health phase of care definitions. In 2021, this concluded with an update to the acute phase definition and the removal of assessment only as a mental health phase of care and its inclusion as an administrative data item. As a result, the Independent Health and Aged Care Pricing Authority undertook a piece of work to develop new education materials. The aims of this project were to develop nationally consistent education materials to inform clinicians of the updates made, to develop materials that included age and setting specific language, to provide an overall explanation of the classification and to allow for clinicians to better contextualise the link between the mental health phase of care and other classification variables, and to assist jurisdictions and services with consistent application of the mental health phase of care. In consultation with learning and development experts, the Independent Health and Aged Care Pricing Authority began the Education Materials Project in November 2021. The education materials produced have been co-designed with clinicians, consumers and care representatives over a period of six months. Workshops were conducted to provide clinical feedback on any gaps in current training resources and delivery methods to ultimately co-design the education materials. There were a total of 37 workshop participants who aided in refining of ideas and co-designing the draft resources. The project resulted in the development of seven final distinct resources which will be summarised in this video. The final set of education materials are across three streams, information, application, and leadership. Information resources are inclusive of an overview video and an information fact sheet. These provide general information about the AMHCC and the mental health phase of care, aimed at consumers, families, carers, and clinicians. The application resources are focused on local services and are to be used in meetings by clinicians, educators, and managers. These resources are inclusive of the e-learning presentation, application video, meeting guides, and the consumer journey maps. The final resource, the webinar guide, is aimed at educators, health information managers, clinical leaders, and services to guide and run local webinars and encourage knowledge sharing. Resource one is a short video introduction to the AMHCC and the mental health phase of care. It aims to increase clinical awareness and effective use of the mental health phase of care. This video is aimed at more general users, as well as for clinicians, consumers, families, and carers to introduce the purpose of the classification and the phases of care. Resource two is a concise two-page information sheet providing an overview of the classification and the mental health phase of care to support resource one. This resource is intended to be quick and easy to access with the inclusion of the phase of care definitions and the highlight of assessment only as a data item. Resource three is an e-learning presentation that can be used for local training and can be incorporated into existing e-learning packages and adapted to local settings. It includes a series of multiple choice questions. Resource four is a short video featuring clinicians discussing local application of the mental health phase of care and clinical benefits. This video has been filmed with several clinicians discussing their own experiences with the mental health phase of care. 
There are two guides in Resource 5. The first guide provides a simple and effective way to run education on mental health phase of care within teams. The second guide suggests clinician validated ways to bring a routine consideration of the mental health phase of care into multidisciplinary team meetings. The guide allows clinicians to discuss real consumers in their own local context rather than being limited to specific scenarios. Resource 6 contains six different consumer journey maps and an education template to allow clinicians to create their own local versions. These illustrations of what mental health phase of care looks like across a consumer's journey can be used as posters to raise awareness of the phase of care as well to personalize and contextualize it. The journey maps can also be brought into education sessions and used as part of presentations. The final resource, resource seven, is a webinar planning guide for clinicians, educators and managers to run their own local webinars. Within the guide, there is a slide deck that outlines what mental health phase of care is, what its impact can be, and what educational resources are available. Each of the individual resources summarized can be accessed by visiting the webpage that appears on screen.